today I'll give you an introduction on how to use Firebase with React Native. Let's begin. Let's first open up Expo, create a new project. Let's call it React Firebase. A project is created. As always, let's change this to localhost. Click on host, localhost, and open this on our iOS simulator. So there we have the app opened up. Now let's open the app in our favorite uh, code editor. In my case, that's Visual Studio Code. Now that we have the project opened up, next we need to install Firebase into our project. So open up the terminal and type npm install Firebase. Now we have Firebase installed, but it seems like we have some error in the npm modules. So let's just run npm install. And like I had shown in my previous video, there seems to be some error with the app entry.js file, which gets fixed if we run npm install. Once that's done, just refresh the project and the app should be working here. Now that we have Firebase installed, we need to set it up in our project. Coming to our app.js, we need to add some configuration data, which we can add to the top here. So I'll just paste that in and walk you through it. So basically here, if you have a look, it says import all, which is a star, as Firebase from Firebase. This gives us the capability of using all the Firebase methods in our application. Next, we have to initialize Firebase. So we create a constant called Firebase config. Inside that, we store all the information regarding our Firebase application, which is the API key, the domain, the base URL, and the storage bucket. This we'll get once we create the project in our Firebase console. Next, we just run Firebase initialize app with the Firebase config. Then we can run the Firebase functions that are available in the SDK. So let's go ahead and create our Firebase project. Open up the browser and head to firebase.google.com and sign into your account or create a new account. And click on get started. Then go ahead and add a new project. What we're going to call it is React Firebase. Leave the country as it is and create the project. Once we're here, what we'll use is we'll say add Firebase to your web app. As you can see over here, the config file is almost very similar to the one we had copied there. What we need from here is the API key, the auth domain, database URL, and the project ID. And we can copy in the storage bucket as well. So let's copy that. Come back to our project and paste it in here. That's all we really need to do. And now we can use Firebase in our project. 